Every person in your company is a vector. Your progress is determined by the sum of all vectors. The first step is to establish that something is possible then probability will occur. When something is important enough, you do it even if the odds are not in your favor. I think it would be great to be born on Earth and die on Mars. Just hopefully not at the point of impact. It is possible for ordinary people to choose to be extraordinary. I think it's very important to have a feedback loop, where you're constantly thinking about what you've done and how you could be doing it better. What makes innovative thinking happen? I think it's really a mindset. You have to decide. My biggest mistake is probably weighing too much on someone's talent and not someone's personality. I think it matters whether someone has a good heart. I wouldn't say I have a lack of fear. In fact, I'd like my fear emotion to be less because it's very distracting and fries my nervous system. If something has to be designed and invented, and you have to figure out how to ensure that the value of the thing you create is greater than the cost of the inputs, then that is probably my core skill. If you get up in the morning and think the future is going to be better, it is a bright day. Otherwise, it's not. People work better when they know what the goal is and why. It is important that people look forward to coming to work in the morning and enjoy working. If you're trying to create a company, it's like baking a cake. You have to have all the ingredients in the right proportion. Starting and growing a business is as much about the innovation, drive, and determination of the people behind it as the product they sell. I think we have a duty to maintain the light of consciousness to make sure it continues into the future.